Blue Sky Studios certainly did a lot more things than just movies. They've also made some great shorts and a couple of holiday specials. To share my thoughts, I'll go through all of them in one video. Did you know Ice Age is the only one that did holiday specials for some reason? Now let's start off with Bunny. Their first animated short made in 1998. It was created before their first feature-length film, Ice Age. In fact, it was first released on the Ice Age DVDs, and you can now watch the short on YouTube. It was written by the head and founder of Blue Sky, Chris Wedge. It follows an old lady bunny making a cake, but a pesky moth keeps bothering her. It's a bit sinister when she tries to cook the moth into the cake, and I love that despite it being a short, the bunny is given some depth. As we see a photo of her young self next to her husband because she's alone in the short, which implies that her husband passed away. The animation and non-verbal storytelling gives the feel of a Pixar short where it shows rather than tells. There's also moments where they don't play music to sell a scene, which gives it more meaning when it plays. Like when the bunny gets frustrated or when she's flying through the light with the moth. This story is quite emotional and has strong themes of coming to terms with death. It's a beautiful short and I highly recommend it, although you will need tissues when watching it. Next would be the Scratch Shorts. They're all really good. My favorite short is Going Nutty, where Scratch has a tree of acorns but they all fall down and are destroyed. The other shorts are really good as well as it has its humor with the animation and the slapstick. And of course, Scrat is best character. Except in Ice Age 5, that is. One more short to talk about would be a short from Robots, which had Aunt Fanny's tour of booty. This was a short added in the bonus features on the Robots DVD. The only things I'll say is that it has nice animation, it can be really funny with the slapstick, and of course, the fan. That's all I can really say about it. Before we move on to the specials, there's Surviving Sid. It exists. Now, about those holiday specials. Let's start off with their first one, Ice Age A Mammoth Christmas, even though Jesus wasn't born yet. I know it's not December, but given there's a Christmas in July, it fits really well. This one starts as Manny gets a boulder, or as he calls it, his Christmas rock. Sid attempts to create a Christmas tree, which turns alright, until the star on the tree, made of ice, ends up shattering the rock. How the hell does that work? which causes Manny, instead of forgiving Sid since it was an accident, decides to be an enormous b again, telling him he'd be on Santa's naughty list. Even though it was an accident. Spirit of Christmas, isn't it? You're about to be a spirit of Christmas, Sid. You know, I don't like animals that kill for pleasure. I may have been mixed on Manny in the first Ice Age movie, but this makes me hate him even more. So Sid, with help from Crash, Eddie, and Peaches as a kid, has to head to Santa's workshop to get Sid off the naughty list. During which they find a reindeer named Prancer, voiced by TJ Miller. While Manny, Ellie, and Diego look for him, Santa's workshop gets destroyed. All because Prancer got stuck and Sid and Peaches tried to help him. Which of course, while all the toys are back to normal, Pulling them will be a bit of a hassle. Luckily, Prancer has some reindeer friends, which don't have the most famous reindeer of all to help out. This gets all the presents to everyone, and means everyone is on the nice list. Now let's get the obvious out of the way. This whole adventure happened because Manny had to act like a crudgeful idiot and say that Sid will be on Santa's naughty list. Manny had no reason to scold Sid over a rock that he can easily find another. Especially since a Christmas tree is so much better than some dumb rock that you can't decorate. But he did it anyway because plot. And guess what? He just said it to trick him. And not only that, he never apologizes for snapping earlier. Sorry for snapping earlier. The animation is sort of half-half this time around. Given this was a Christmas special, some iffy moments are forgiven. At least the textures are fine. I also love the voice performance of TJ Miller and Peach's child actor. And the Christmas spirit is sort of there. Then there's an Easter special as well, when Jesus wasn't born for him to die in a tea pose. In this one, Sid has a hatching school for eggs, which Diego and Manny consider will be a disaster, like with the dinosaurs and the kids camp. Except the meltdown wasn't Sid's fault, and again, he saved a baby with you three. 
Suddenly, Squint, who was a member of Captain Gut from Ice Age 4, steals the eggs and sends a ransom note that he'll give the eggs back in exchange for a new ship. So the three go on an egg hunt to find the stolen eggs and take out the pirate with help from Clint, Squint's brother, who gives them a map to the hidden eggs. To start off, I love the Indiana Jones parody they did when they found the golden egg. I will agree with Sid saying that Chalk tastes great in egg form, even though cocoa beans wouldn't really be a thing in the Ice Age. While I love the continuity references, admittedly one I do get, but the other I don't get. I also like the climax chase near the end, and how it aligns later with Crash and Eddie's subplot of April Fools. I also love the ending where Scrat accidentally turns into chocolate, and Squint deservedly gets sunk after stealing Scrat's basket of acorns thinking it was a ship. If I had to rank the shorts, here's how I'd rank them. As for the specials, they're both tolerable in their own right. If Blue Sky Studios hadn't shut down or they had more time before Disney purchased them, I could see a Rio Valentine's Day special happening, or even a Halloween special based on the Peanuts movie. Now there's just one more video before Blue July is over.